Thank you, Robert. And if you hear me speak, and if you hear me speak of the greenest goose gogs, then it is obviously the summer of 63, with the sunlight of that year trapped within them. And if you hear me speak of goose gogs and a certain year, then I most certainly will be talking of my blind granny, who used her crooked hands to sculpt my face into being, and I am here because her hands saw me so completely. I was made anew each year as if I'd never been before, but I'm now. And if you hear me speak of Goose Gogs, the year of 63, and my blind cork granny, then you will know that I speak of the gentlest love I have ever known. Now I will speak no more, for I have said everything that can be said, and that goes beyond all saying. Thank you. Uh, this is called Not Wisely, But Well. Is there anybody in the audience old enough to remember the Merry Widow? <laughs> Had this problem the last time. No, but, um, I used to look after a lady called Madeline, and her catchphrase, her mantra all the time was, I'll soon be in my grave. We'd go, no, Madeline, no. Like I was when I was 10, but I don't think I'll get out again. And we thought, we had no knowledge of what this meant. And I was taken off for boots one night, and I absentmindedly started singing Amelia from The Merry Widow. Da, da, dee, da, dee, da, da. And she said, oh, that's my favorite song. And then that unlocked the memory of it. Not wisely, but well. I was ten then, had been in the grave for only an hour, but it seemed forever. Hadn't expected an empty grave, hadn't expected to fall in. I was just a little slip of a girl, not looking where I was going. My head all scales and arpeggios. I was scared because I was late for my singing lesson. What would Madame say? A grave, you say? You fell into a grave? The sky gazed down at me, so blue against this box of earth. A crow perched on the lip, wondering how I'd got into this. Help! I wailed, and again, help! All to no avail, I grew a little pale. I'm not dead, really! Really, I'm not! The world refused to listen. Only the rain talked to me in big, fat, dollopy drops. I sang Velia from The Merry Widow, as if my heart would break. Vilia, oh Vilia, your love is a flame to keep warm, keep the fear away. Soft as a kiss, hear me whisper your name. The grave sang. The grave digger approached in trepidation, crossing himself at each step, calling on God to give him strength. Not sure if I was angel or devil, he sang back to test me. <coughs> Vilia, oh Vilia. My, my heart calls to you. Very shaky, I must say, and slightly off key. And I piped up from six feet below. Where is the love song we knew? I sang with all my might as if my life depended on it. He got me out, falling in himself. I climbed onto his shoulders, onto his head, and scrambled back into the world. My white frock, quite, quite filthy. Oh, what would Mama and Madame say? It was my first public performance, and after that I could sing anywhere. Thank you. Mr. Donald Dempsey, everybody.